Greetings, beautiful, precious soul. Remember to be you to the full. That's all you need to do. And my topic today is there's only life in that sense. And you are life. Life is not this going on. This is the manifestation. This is the creation. This is uh, expression of the elements. Earth, oxygen, fire, water, ether. Okay. Everything that we have on the earth comes from the earth. So, so there is only life, and life is who you are. Death is a concept. It's so interesting. See, when we misidentify ourselves as this physical body, that's, that's who we are, that's what we are. And we refer all the time to the body as ourselves. There's the fear of death and the fear of pain and suffering. See, it's not the death, it's the fear of death. So fearing it by believing that somehow, and people say that, oh, they died. Well, that's not true. That's a lie. But when you tell the truth, people think you're off your rocker, so to speak. You lost your marbles. What do you mean they didn't die? They're not here. Oh, really? So what is here? What is that? And it, it's almost like if you have many rooms in your house and someone steps into the other room, does that mean that they don't exist? They're not, you're always eternity. That's like the good and the bad news because you're always gonna be with yourself. And yet you're not alone in a sense. We're all one and yet we're also all individuals and all different and all unique and authentically who we are, say. And what is the thing that people don't want to look at oftentimes? They don't want to deal with. They don't want to think about it. But it's always there. Death. Loss. What does that mean? Loss of your stuff? Really? You th look around at your stuff. I mean, stuff. I got to have my stuff. Really? Interesting. I, 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 one of the times when I, because uh, I was living in India, and I'd come back he here, uh, for a few months and everything. And I put all my stuff in storage. And it was so interesting as I didn't need it the whole time I was gone. It was, and, and then you dr drag it out. Yeah, we need things to maintain the body and to do our life's work and to attain what we want, desire spiritually, you know, in truth. And as you are life and you are eternity, you want to look at it. You want to, we want to really look at it and see what all of the stuff that's involved in it. Sorrow. People say, well, if God kills, I never want. Well, you know what? Maybe that's a false God that kills. Maybe that's not really source. Because, you know, when you watch what's natural and what's beautiful, and people say, oh, there is no love. That's just get you got. No, our worldly thought of love has nothing to do with love. It's lust. It's like and dislike. Love means caring for, taking care of. Love means contributing to. Love means endeavoring for that person's welfare and well-being and wishing them well, even if they're not with you. And yet we also then get so attached in the relationship of the physicalness of that person in that body. And when that person is gone or isn't there, yes, you're experiencing love in separation. The missing of, the real feeling of that love that you felt for the person. And yet, realize this love is coming from you. It's not coming from someone else. And that then, instead of calling this grief, when we say someone died or someone is gone, or a pet or a friend, or a loss of something you thought you had to have, it's you, you throw yourself into suffering because it's a lie. You never lose anyone because they don't belong to you. So all of the thing that I know about 
nothing belongs to me in the sense of this rock or this tree or the water and yet it is there are elements that we use to manifest with so they're all divine and and in like in the vedic teaching as the native american they're all persons the rock people the tree people the water people the dog people the cat people see the cow people divine beings with feelings even they find that plants have feelings in that sense. They react to consciousness because all is consciousness. And when you are to, to really look into this and then people that come, oh, you go to the light in the tunnel. That's not true. Where'd you get that information? See. Well, when people have a near death experience, they leave there. Well, they're going to the astral plane. Yes. There's a lot of work on that. You can read uh, Robert Monroe's work on the astral plane. Far Journeys, excellent, really good. And you look to see what that is so that you have some idea of what you're going to face and what's going to be there when you drop, in a sense, this 3D concept that you have. And this whole thing about death is so programmed into us all the time to say the only thing that's real are death and taxes, really? and then afraid to look, and then all of the sorrow in it that's all involved in all of the stuff that you must detach from. See, we need to be attached and detached. Not just detached, but we're also going to be attached. So let's get attached to that which is for our greatest welfare and well-being and the greatest welfare and well-being of all living entities. Everywhere. There's no lack or limitation. There's only abundance. Okay. That's wealth. You are the wealth. Yes, you are. And others know that. And then use your wealth to direct you into fear and guilt. regret the deadly sins you know why i call them mistakes sins why because you keep dying through these things because of the emotion of it comes from a belief and a thought that you have that's a lie about yourself because you're an eternal being you are eternity i am eternity say that yes and as you are centered in yourself when it's when it's if or when you don't die anymore and you're not born anymore we're not a creation we don't have a beginning a middle and an end we 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 don't need time what time is it how much time do you have left? When it's your time. And there's everybody in the scarcity. There's not enough time. And don't lose this moment because you'll never have this moment of now again. Yes, you do. You're always in the now. Get out of the human race. Quit racing. And then we have races. That means we've got different colors now of bodies as our uniform for our particular race. And then we have to compete. And then we have to fight. And then we have to hate and like. We have to choose sides. Which side are you on? Neither. None. I don't need to be on a side. Say, nobody's going to do this for you but you. Yeah, what, if what I'm saying, does that resonate? And there's so much more. Don't be afraid to look, to research, to blow your belief systems. They're just belief systems. A belief system is only that, a belief system. That's it. Then we give it meaning. 
or we've been taught to have certain meanings for the words and this stuff. We get all involved in this. The fear of death. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> I'm gonna take everything away from you. <laughs> but the, so everybody's the intention. Always stress, afraid before the other shoe drops. Stop believing in any of that. That's not you. That's not what's possible. That's what we've been taught to believe and to accept and to live from. And in truth, there is only life. You, only you are real. And me and our divine mother, father, I call that supreme source partners, friends, beloved, that we draw from, that we are part of. Yes. But you got to do it on an individual basis. Can't legislate it. Can't be rules for it. No. This is your project. And then, you're always yourself. <laughs>